Hi guys, it's Carrie. Um, as you guys can see from the title, today I want to talk a little bit about um, intensity. And um, again, what prompted this video is watching other videos by um, people who are um, saying, you know, and some, First of all, let me say, some of these people are Scorpio moons. Um, some of these people are, are just, you know, astrologers. They, you know, I don't know what their credentials are or what their expertise is, but um, they're calling themselves astrologers. And they're discussing the um, relationship, supposed relationship between Scorpio and Scorpio moon and intensity, okay? And um, what a lot of them are saying is that we crave intensity in our life, that we crave drama and um, that we create that in our lives. And um, I want to address those issues because I have a problem with some of that, um, what I believe to be assumption about people who have a lot of Scorpio in their chart. Um, uh, first of all, I, I, I want to uh, talk about things as far as from my point of view, okay, how I feel about this issue. Hang on a minute. That is super bright. Let's go. Let's go low key. <laughs> um, okay, intensity. When I was younger, yeah, there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of intensity. Um, I, I would say a large part of that was simply a result of my chart. Okay. Um, my chart doesn't have a lot going for it <laughs> as far as uh, benefic uh, influences. It, it's, it's a pretty dark chart. And uh, my childhood reflected that. The, the ch my childhood home reflected that. Um, my young adulthood, you know, the things that occurred in my life and, and actually, you know, up until just the last few years, have reflected, you know, um, the um, enormity of the challenges that I would face in this lifetime. But craving drama, um, craving intensity, I have to tell you guys, not me. Um, and my husband, who is a Scorpio son and about as Scorpio as he can possibly be, he's, let me say this, he's Scorpio son, according to Western astrology, tropical astrology. According to Eastern astrology, um, for instance, Vedic astrology that's based on, it's a, it's a sidereal uh, astrology. Uh, he's Libra with Scorpio rising and um, some other Scorpio elements that I can't remember right offhand. Um, you know, for both of us, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, we there has been a certain amount of intensity in our life. And when we were younger, um, Yes, we, we probably did create intensity and create drama unknowingly, okay? But I can tell you that from the time I was a very young adult, let's say in my early 20s, I can remember telling certain people that were very close to me that all I truly wanted was a quiet, content, happy, stable life, okay? 
uh, and my husband and I talked about this just a couple of nights ago because, again, you know, I saw a few of these videos and I started thinking about it and we started talking about it. Um, neither one of us want that drama in our lives. We, we have had enough drama and intensity in our lives to last us for a thousand lifetimes, you know. Um, and I encourage all young Scorpio moons, well, all Scorpio moons of any age, actually, you know, if you've got it in your mind, you know, if you've listened to enough of these um, videos and listened to other people's opinions of you, and um, if you've been reeled in by that, you know, that, that this is what you need, like, there's one person in particular, um, I like her, but I disagree with actually a lot of what she says. She's a Scorpio sun and moon and does a lot of videos. And um, I happened to watch a video where she had left a comment that Scorpio people um, demand intensity in all areas of their life. Not true. This is not, tr not true. It may be true for her, but I would just about bet that there's some kind of fiery aspect in her chart. There's some some kind of uh, uh, early chart, early zodiac influence there toward the beginning of the chart. Um, I, I have been around a lot of. The, I've told you guys before, I am surrounded by Scorpio people. And I don't know any of them that are a, any age at all that crave drama, that crave intensity and conflict and that, you know, burning fire. No, no. Scorpio is a watery sign, okay? Water flows. Water can definitely... Uh, When uh, it's when water's banks are breached, <laughs> in other words, their defenses when their defenses are breached, water can become the most destructive force on earth, and that's true of Scorpio. But that is not how Scorpio feels comfortable. That is uh, that is usually a provoked um, that's a provoked kind of reaction you know what I mean Scorpio doesn't doesn't just go there on their own because that's not where we're comfortable that's not where things feel good things actually feel terrible in that situation and um, for instance me I have no Aries in my chart none <laughs> um, and I have, my early relationships were, um, all the, all the conflicted relationships and the relationships that I had the most problems with were with Aries. And this even includes female friends. It, it just never seems to work out because there is this, uh, fiery kind of, drama that is actually enjoyed um, to a certain extent by Aries when when they're young. I know my dad is an Aries and it was certainly no way there was, you know, everything was a uh, uh, reason for drama. Going to the grocery store was a reason for drama um, and yelling and, and, you know, tempers being lost and, and things like that. And my little dog needs love today. <laughs> mm, oh, sweet girl. But, um, that's, that's not what I wanted, you know. Um, even though my sun sign is Sagittarius, I don't identify with Sagittarius at all. You know, the only thing that you might say 
uh, would be Sagittarius about me is possibly the uh, spiritual side, but the Sagittarius people that I know who are not Scorpio Moon, they're not spiritual, they're religious. And there is a tremendous difference. I've heard people say, oh, I hate when people talk about the difference between, you know, I'm spiritual, not religious. There is a difference. You know, I'm sorry if you don't like it. There is a difference in that. You know, if you just go to church every Sunday because you love to sing hymns or you love the ritual of dressing up and being with your friends all dressed up, and the, you know what I mean, and you go and you listen to somebody tell you what you're supposed to be doing, there's a difference in that and, and actually self-analyzing and, and looking inside to develop yourself and things like that. And every Sagittarius I've ever known has been... And, and granted, I haven't known every one, okay? I'm a Sagittarius. My son is in Sagittarius. Granted, it's, you know, within a few hours of Capricorn, but... Um, and I'm not that way. You know, so I'm not saying that all Sagittarius are that way, but the ones that I have known have been religious, you know, just like dogmatic and whatever their prescribed doctrine is, you know, um, that's the law. There's a law, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm not so sure that I believe in laws. Um, but... So, I, what I want you to do, young young Sagittarius, in, no, young Scorpio moons in particular, um, before you believe all this bullshit about you being so intense and craving intensity and being a drama queen and all this stuff, analyze yourself, you know, look at yourself and, and determine what feels good to you. Some of us, if we have a lot of fiery elements in our chart, Maybe you do need that. You do need that intensity. But if you are a very, if you have a very watery chart, um, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, analyze yourself. Because I'm sorry, there are too many people that just, and even I do it. You know, even I do it from time to time. It's easy to do. Too many people just lump all sun signs together they lump all scorpio moons together but the fact is astrology and your birth placement there there are so many variables in that i read a while back what the um odds were of somebody's chart being identical to somebody else and it was like an astronomical number you know we, we are all individual people and and even with Vedic astrology, it's impossible to nail down every aspect of who you are. Only you can know that. Only you can know that. But as for me and my husband and the intensity and the drama, um, our life together is very uh, stable and very predictable which Scorpio likes Scorpio depending on the you know like I said on your chart you know how watery are you um, Scorpio and this applies to all the Scorpios in my life that I know I can't think of anybody who's who falls outside of this uh, analysis here unless it's some kind of an internal thing that I haven't seen but as far as the way they present themselves in their daily life and I'm a pretty intuitive person you know I it, I can um, I can I can usually figure out what a person's about you know if they're a calm easygoing person and and like everything to be predictable and and stable Every Scorpio that I know is that way. They don't they don't create drama and intensity. What creates the drama and intensity in their lives, if there is some, are outside influences that are fiery and, and airy, you know? 
what happens when you light, you know, certain gases on fire? What happens when you strike a match? I mean, that's, that is not Scorpio. Water is soothing and, um, that, that's how we like for our life to be. And I don't know how, you, everybody again, like I said, has different needs and different desires for their life. Some people have a super boring life and, and you know, they feel the need to, they like that, uh, that feeling of conflict. It's exciting to them, you know, and the people that I have known in my life, again, like I said, a lot of Aries have that desire. You know, they like that, uh, feeling of, of, uh, conflict going on a lot of the time, you know, and, um, it, it, it makes their heart beat faster and, and, um, keeps them from being bored a lot of the time, I think, which is understandable. I mean, I do understand it, but I don't want that, you know, and I'm tired of people saying that, um, that that's where that intensity comes from because uh you know you would think with my if that's if that were so that me and my husband would have just barrels of intensity <laughs> overflowing in our home and that's not it we laugh all the time our our life together is very lighthearted um very happy very fun and um, I, the only time that intensity ever plays a part in our life is when somebody's trying to breach our banks. Does that make sense? It's when we have to go there. You know, that, that defense, mechani defense mechanism or that, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but protecting our territory, if that makes sense. Um, that's when we can become intense. And, um, so it's all about the interaction with other people, you know. It's a provoked response in Scorpio. It's not a natural response. Scorpio, I think, in their heart of hearts, uh, craves, uh, normality and a sense of, uh, ease and calm and a soothing home a soothing life, you know, um, the song that I think of, it just popped in my head, and I love this song, it's Radiohead, No Surprises, I think that's Scorpio Moon, you know, um, because we, we have to deal with so much in our lives that, uh, all these challenges that, that, some of which we unknowingly bring upon ourselves and others which are placed upon us for our personal growth, that in between those times, we want soothing, calm, easy, you know. Um, so all I'm saying is don't let other people influence the way you feel about yourself, okay? Um, words are very powerful and potent. And when you hear somebody say something about you, it's human nature to take that on to, to a certain extent, you know, to uh, buy into other people's opinion of you. But when you begin to turn things inward, turn your vision inward and find out what really makes you happy, what makes you feel good, when you are the most yourself, um, and you feel the most strong, you know, uh, take those things into account. This is, this is why, you know, I have, I have a, a great respect for astrology, but I also have kind of a resentment for it because I think it can be a powerful tool for self-growth and um, learning about ourselves, but I also think that other people 
can sometimes use it, not intentionally, I'm not saying people use it intentionally, um, but I think sometimes it has the power when used by other people to alter our perception of ourselves in a negative way, okay? And uh, we need to be in control of how we perceive ourselves. It needs to be a, a realistic perception of ourselves and it needs to come from within rather than from other people. So um, that's all I wanted to talk to, about today, guys. I just wanted to uh, uh, tell you how I felt about the whole intense drama queen kind of thing. And um, hopefully you guys will know what I'm talking about today. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. It's Blue Monday. <laughs> Definitely blue. If, I mean, we've needed rain here for a long time. It's been like drought conditions here in Texas. But um, we've got rain now. We've gotten two or three inches and so... That's pretty nice, but, you know, I miss the sunshine. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be back in a few days. Anyway, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.